Good morning. I hope you're hungry because you're spending the whole day with me in the kitchen in my house. We have to start with my coffee, but the only way I drink coffee is when I have my own nut milk. See how beautiful those nuts look? So it's a half a cup of almonds, half a cup of cashews, four cups of water, a little bit of maple syrup. I feel like I'm in like a cooking show. A little bit of maple syrup, a little bit of vanilla extract. Oh, that was a lot. Cinnamon, coconut oil. Let's say a teaspoon, coconut milk. Strain it with a nut milk bag. This is like the fun part. This is what my kids love to do. I mean, they make a mess when they do this, but it's fun. It's also a fun time together for all of us to spend time in the kitchen. I mean, everybody always hangs out in the kitchen, don't they? Look at this, look how beautiful, creamy, the color. My espresso coffee. Mmm, delicious. Creamy, mmm. And what also what I like about this nut milk, once you have it ready, you put it in the blender. I'm gonna show you, you can make a smoothie. Avocado. My nut milk, blueberries, strawberries, banana. I'm gonna put a little bit of chia. Mmm, that's really good. Again, great dessert, great snack, great for breakfast. You know, I have two kids, so I'm really constantly on, on a run and I don't always have time to sit down and eat my breakfast or my lunch. And smoothie, I can just put everything in there. Also for decoration, you can put some goji berries, cacao nibs, little shredded coconut. And there you have a beautiful dessert, snack, or breakfast, or a smoothie. I love sitting outside and feeling the sunshine on my face, on my cheek. It just makes me happy when I'm stressed, when my kids are going cuckoo bananas. You know, I think sometimes we forget to breathe. We're so busy, we're running from one place to the other. Am I allowed to have a few minutes by myself? Sometimes, please. <laughs> my mom made all this garden for me before she left to Czech Republic. So what my job is to make sure I don't kill them. I live in Miami, it's hot here, it's sunny, and all I always crave is something fresh, light, refreshing, and it's a great alternative to grain. If you don't want to do rice, if you don't want to do quinoa, this is just something fun and different. You put your cauliflower heads into a food processor and then you get this beautiful consistency. White onion. Now I'm gonna add the cauliflower. We're gonna put a little bit of olive oil. What should I call this? Wild rice, wild dream cauliflower rice, skinny bitch rice. A little bit of salt, pepper, lemon juice, lemon zest, shaved almonds for the crunch and a little bit of protein, dry cranberries, pepitas or pumpkin seeds, and then you finish it off with a little fresh cilantro. What I love about this dish is how easy and quick it is. So dinner is going to be a little bit more than a vegetable. We're going to go classic pasta. Yeah, spaghetti. But we're gonna do gluten-free. That's the little difference, you know, in our family, we really try to be gluten-free, wheat-free, dairy-free. So we're gonna saute our onions. So I'm gonna chop it up. While I'm sauteing my onions, I'm gonna chop my carrot, chop celery, salt, onion powder. We're gonna add our tomato sauce, my honey. Uno, due, tre, spaghetti. So this recipe I got from my mom. She always makes spaghetti and she puts vegetables in the sauce. Parmesan. This is where more is more. Ta -ta, perfetto, pronto. I had so much fun having you over. I'm gonna cheer to myself because this is a lot of work. But unfortunately, now I'm gonna have dinner with my family and I don't have enough pasta. But I'll see you next time. Grazie, thank you, Dickway.